G'day guys, uh, it's been a while, uh, had a pretty hectic week last week, so let's have a crack at another one. I don't recall this one, because it has been quite some time since I've played a Royale, I think the last video was the last Royale I played. Uh, so for this one, the, the bag is as per the the norm, so Red Barquetta, I Am Root, Bigfoot, Spectre, Hive, Yellow Jacket, and Orca. So I'll try and do some explaining here rather than just playing quickly, uh, provided I remember what's going on. Oh yeah, so I think I remember this one. A lot of these you can hold out, so you've got to remember the longer shot view, I mean the shorter shot view with yellow jacket, so you pull it back a bit yeah. further. Yeah. This one is slightly off, I think. Yeah, see, I was just on the left edge of the cup and that went dead centre. So in a direct headwind, you don't have to worry about being on or off centre. That will be just fine to play the, the standard line. Let's see if we can get one more to drop. Not to be, but not a bad first round. And he's one of the best Royale players in the game. Good old Big Easy. <clears throat> round two is a little more difficult um, there's one shot that does require adjustment. This one can require adjustment in a crossed wind, but it's, uh, it's minimal. So a little bit more than that, evidently. This is the one that requires a bit extra. I'm too far back from the hole. Yeah, not to worry.
And so you notice I'm getting it on the first swing every single time. Any longer than that, and you're going to be wasting time trying to... Uh, <clears throat> trying to get these in the hole. And you don't have that kind of time to waste. Yeah, not a bad second round again. I only missed a couple. Now, if I recall correctly, round three is two quick shots and two, two hole outs, <clears throat> I think. Yeah, so this one's the first quick shot, then there's a bunker shot, and then there's a, another rough shot, and they require minimal adjustment. The bunker shot requires no adjustment at all. So as quickly as possible. So you can quick shot that one by pulling it straight down. Now, I did the right curl there because the green bounces back round to the left. No time to muck around in this with Big Easy playing. Oh, that's a bummer. Now I missed that quick shot. Yes, get in the hole. Oh, I'm taking too long here, this isn't good. <clears throat> Should be able to get two more off at least. Oh, let go of it again. Get one more off here. And there you go. That's how I play that final round. Of course, as always, if you have any questions, you let me know. Happy to explain anything. Felt like I needed to play that final round, you know, to the best of my ability. Because uh, Big Easy is one tough customer. As you saw, I lost in both round one and round two. So thankfully got a couple of extra drops in there. Some longer ones that you wouldn't normally get, but... Yeah, I guess short explanation for some of that is what, as I've said in the other videos, whatever the wind is, I check that first. If it's, you know, coming, um, say, southwest, it's heading southwest, well, then I will curl to the right because that wind arrow is coming down to the left. So if I curl to the right, that counters the wind. I don't have to do any spinning. And it turned out on a couple of occasions, I was able to drop those holes that um, otherwise might have needed slight adjustments. So yeah, hopefully that, um, that works for you or you know you can practice it and get that into your repertoire. But yeah, that's how I play London Hole 4 Royale. Thanks for tuning in again. Uh, like and subscribe, tell your mates, all that sort of jazz. And uh, I'll be back with some more videos in the near future. 
Cheers.